if you, like myself, are a fan of Ultron, it looks like the character is finally going to make his long-awaited return. At least I've been waiting for it for a while since Ultron can't die. But yeah, it sounds like he's returning in Armor Wars. In every interview in regards to Armor Wars becoming a film, the narrative that they told us was that the film got too big to be a series and that they wanted it to be a film because there's going to be a lot going on, the CG needs to be there, and that they also want a lot more money to spend on the budget and how they're going to explore the Iron Man legacy. Now, Iron Man's legacy also includes Ultron, so it's not surprising that now we're hearing that the character is returning, and even better, James Spader will be returning to once again provide the voice for the character. Now, according to reports, he will be one of the main villains, and his AI is somehow going to be involved with whatever they're doing with the whole Armor Wars concept. Now, again, take everything you know from the comics, whatever Armor Wars is, and completely erase that from your mind. Because obviously, as Marvel Studios does, they're going to use the name. They might borrow a couple elements, but that's largely it. Already, we can tell that this is going to be a film that's going to put James Rhodes in the center of dealing with the fallout of the lack of Iron Man and all these pieces of technology. So bringing Ultron into this makes sense because the last we heard, the Department of Damage Control would be a big part of this film. They, of course, already got all the scraps from Ultron, including his tech that they've been sitting on. So it sounds like that damage control could honestly be behind somehow putting together or bringing back Ultron and trying to maintain command of him while he is assembling an army that's uh, more or less going to work for either the government or for damage control to an extent who works for the government and that Rhodes is essentially going to have to toss on a suit and get working on this because uh, everything is going to come crashing down more or less around him and he feels personally responsible because, uh, well, he was Tony's best friend. And also, he's got his own suit of armor. But now, it's time to live up to the legacy of his best friend and honor him and make sure that his tech doesn't get any worse. So, honestly, I'm excited. But if you follow this channel, you know I'm a huge War Machine mark. So, um, not surprising. 